Hello, welcome back to Tarot by Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly. Hello, you guys. Happy Saturday. I hope you have some good plans uh, scheduled for yourself today to get out, enjoy the sunshine, the beautiful weather, and uh, embrace uh, what's last left of the summer and carrying on here uh, on X. i uh, kind of shocked today when I noticed that Bronus Brock, Bach, something like that, was following me, or I, look, I was able to get in and leave a bunch of comments. I blocked that that um, person because it's Megan. Everybody's, it's been kind of outed as being Megan, so I'm really shocked that somehow it managed to end up on my feed when I blocked the person. Really bizarre, so it must be the capabilities that she has to hack into people. I don't know, really weird for me. Anyway, so I blocked again. And leaving all kinds of comments about William uh, being the narcissist. William is only self-serving. William is the one who um, has to go back to the church. He's not about the church in order to be, because he's going to be the leader of the church. Blah, blah, blah. Going on and on and on. So I was like, oh my God, just would not stop. It was nonstop tagging me, tagging. I was like, oh my God. I mean, going haywire. So, <laughs> ever. All right, so it, it appears that uh, Lord Fellows, 82-year-old, uh, the gray suit who uh, Harry absolutely hated and loathed, he snuck into the UK, uh, obviously, to uh, have words with his brother, but uh, he was gray rocked. Yeah, um, it also is coming out. And yeah, there's no words shared whatsoever, and it, they kept he kept his distance from him, as we expected. So I really don't want to read on that. There's no sense in it. I think I beat it to the, uh, to the wall already. Um, however, you know, uh, it is coming out. There was a, there was a cover story that I saw that was quite true today, uh, about Harry having no place to go. Basically in a nutshell, he's a man with no land. Uh, and, um, a lot of people on TikTok are having a real hard time with some of my posts. I did get, um, quite a few, um, support. There was about three or four supporters and then one who appeared to be somewhat of a troll child, uh, you can always tell because they don't have, uh, they'll say something very basic and stupid. They'll say, you're stupid, you're weird, stuff like that. Uh, that's about the level of intelligence. Uh, so it's pretty obvious. It's a paid troll for Megan, uh, probably from Nigeria or something, who knows, or, you know, but she manages, right? She still has a few left. Uh, let's see. So Harry hates, hated him. So she, he showed up really for self-serving purposes. Uh, what I want to read about today is uh, Cat Archie. There was a conversation about Archie on, on um, Twitter, X, and uh, there was an article I'm going to attach for the image of this read uh, where she fed the cat grapes, which are known to be toxic to cats, and the cat died, okay? Um, I'm sure she did that probably on purpose because her brother, Thomas Markle Jr., said that don't allow her near kids. Don't allow her near pets. Uh, it seems to me like her and Harry have a quite a lot in common. Harry, too, has problems with animals. Plus, they have that when they got together, what happened to her dog? Broken legs, right? Um, rumor is they were having a blowout fight when it all occurred. Someone lost their, their, uh, their head on the situation and um, took it out on the dog. The dog probably tried to intervene. The dog probably didn't like the argument. And so the dog was in the way and the dog got broken legs. Um, as well as Harry herding po polo ponies. So we know all that, right? As well as um, escort women and women of the evening. So he has his, um, shouldn't be allowed around women or, or pets. Uh, Megan shouldn't be allowed around wealthy men and pets. They kind of have a lot in common. So let's get Cat Archie. Let's get Cat Archie. I'm going to use the Major Arcana deck again. That is the double Major deck here. It is one of my favorites. I do like to pull it out because you don't have to have the Minor Arcana. You get just the big, big events of life with just the Major. Some readers, when they, uh, some really big time professionals that travel the globe, uh, they don't even take the Minor Arcanas. They only take the Majors. Um, just because they just want to get to the big points of life and why bother with the daily nuisances of the major arcana. That's just your daily stuff there. You know, sure it makes it deep, but it's not, um, it's not the life affirming parts of the deck necessarily. 
so the major arcana is it so let's get to and i have to read them upright once again in case you forgot they're all they all have their own position their own card their own face so cat archie cat archie what happened to you cat archie what did mama do to you what did mama do to you cat archie what did Megan do to you, Cat Archie? Cat Archie. What happened with Cat Archie? Here we go. I'm going to take that one and that one. Ah, she got pissed off all right. I'm the boss. You better listen to me. So as a young girl, because she was young when she did this, that's very psychopathy trait. That is, uh, they hurt animals. Uh, so she's very high in psychopathy, no doubt. Um, yeah. Here we go. So we have here Queen of Wands in reverse. Yep. She did not like that cat. She was pissed off at that cat. So basically she wore a mask on when she was around other people with the cat. But when she wasn't with the cat, probably the mask came off. Uh, and she just basically, she she had somehow had a bruised ego. Uh, I said on, on um, Twitter that most likely she was jealous of the cat because the cat was getting more attention than her. She had to take the cat out somehow, so do it in a passive-aggressive way by feeding it grapes when they're known to be toxic. She probably was told to stop, but she didn't. Uh, she didn't want the cat. She had no excitement or enthusiasm for the cat because that wand is down. She wanted to grow by herself, put the cat down, put the wand down. Uh, didn't feel that the cat, the cat was, was um, something she could deal with. So basically, you know, she felt, um, you know, she didn't want to take care of the cat because it's, it's a lazy mentality with the wand in reverse. She probably was told to take care of the cat, feed the cat, do things for the cat or clean the cat litter box. She didn't want to. It was boring. Uh, she didn't, she had absolutely no, no temperament to deal with it. So she, her temper became a temp, temper tantrum. Uh, she lost, she was losing confidence. The cat was taking her attention away because the queen of wands in the upright position is getting all the attention, the fame, the adulation, someone who's popular, assertive, liked rising up Phoenix, uh, passionate. She felt no passion for that cat. She felt no positive vibes for the cat. She did. She thought I can, how can I be successful with this cat in my way? You know? So basically she wanted to take it out, take it out because why? Because I'm the boss. I am the king of wands. I can do what I want. I am the king. I am the leadership here. And my ego comes first. Big ego. Alpha energy. And passion to succeed. She was passionate to succeed through her anger and rage to make sure that cat didn't have another breath. So I'm going to do what I want because you should hear me roar, uh, you know, with this king of wands. And I am ruthless. I can be dominating. And I fear commitment. She feared commitment. She feared, uh, she, she probably feared the cat would be taken over her attention seeking ways, uh, to her. Uh, she had some bold plans. King of Wands has very bold plans. Her bold plan was to get angry at the cat. And then she was able, and, and lo and behold, we have a cat right there. Do you see that cat there? There's a cat right here. There's a cat right there. Absolutely no passion for that cat. And she didn't have the courage to go on. It really, it crushed her ego. She didn't want to do anything with the cat, you know, adventures and all that. So she really didn't really like the cat Archie. She hated the cat Archie. Uh, that cat Archie was not going to grow with her. I'm going to rise up from the Phoenix, not you. You're down. I'm going to be the boss of you. I'm going to do what I want. Uh, total recklessness, carelessness, could care less. Uh, you know, the cat was by her side a lot here. You know, at one point in time, she felt bonded with the cat until she no longer felt bonded. You know, at one point in time, she probably loved it or she thought she loved it. She, at one point in time, she felt passionate for it, but she still was the boss because Queen of Wands upright is still a boss too, just like the King of Wands. But at one point in time, she lost her, she got bored of the cat. Basically, as an antisocial, she got bored of the cat. Well, this cat's got to go. I need to elevate myself. This cat's in my way. I'm not cleaning litter. I'm not doing what I have to do. Screw the cat. So screw the cat. I'm going to feed it grapes. I'm going to do what I want. And whatever happens, happens. So it's through anger and rage. And, you know, very, very, um, very. This here is someone who's quite temper tantrum. Uh, you know, hateful, spiteful with the Queen of Wands in reverse. Challenging position was the job. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, she did not want to take care of it. It was a job. The cat was her job. She didn't want to do it anymore. 
it is strictly the workhorse. It's the workhorse. And to her, that's good news. Hey, the cat died. Yay, yay me. Easy going. I could be easy going now. I don't have to work for this cat. So it was a slow and steady wins the race card. So she did it slowly and steadily, kept feeding it grapes. It was like a slow poison of the cat. Focal point. Focal point. Yep, she wanted to make sure that cat crashed and burned and couldn't go forward in anymore or do anything with its life. There we go. You could see that. There you go. So, yeah, and, you know, I'm I'm the one who's driving the wheel. The cat's not driving the wheel, so I'm going to crash and burn you. I can't cope anymore with this cat. Uh, it, it's basically splitting the cat black uh, because we have the white and the black shifting here. There's The horses usually with this is a black and white horse. So she did a shift with her splitting and through splitting she took revenge her revenge it's the end of the road for you cat and you're gonna lose i'm gonna win narcissists are all about winning 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 so basically it's a health battle she created a health battle for the cat and the cat got lost the cat cat lost its vigor the cat uh, tried to regroup and rest, but she kept slowly poisoning it with the Knight of Pentacles. So it was a slow and steady poisoning to the point of a complete health challenge, and the cat died and lost its vigor. It lost everything, and it's lost its battle. It was the end of the road for the cat. So yeah, she's a killer. She's a killer of cats. <clears throat> Past position that doesn't serve. There we go. Past position that doesn't serve. We have here the Knight of Swords in the upright position. So she knew she couldn't do it fast and furious with the Knight of Swords upright because that's an upright position. So she knew she couldn't do it fast because that would be a bad plan with the Page of Pentacles in reverse, a bad direction. She knew she'd get busted. So I think she thought if she could do it slowly, feed it slowly, eventually it, it would uh, be so toxic that it would kill the cat. So she wanted to do it slowly to avoid detection. And that was why she did it slowly because, and it was, she didn't want to be so aggressive because the Knight of Swords is a very aggressive action taking action in a very aggressive manner. So she did it slowly, very torturously slowly, making the health of the cat go down. So then she could avoid detect detection. So it was over a long haul uh, period, affecting the, it probably, probably destroyed its kidneys or something. I'm not sure what grapes do, but it probably did, the, did in the kidneys because that's the filtering system. <clears throat> Here we go. Hidden energy, hidden that wants out hidden energy i'm the boss i'm the leader i'm the king that's also could be representing her father she didn't want her father to know too her father probably said you're taking care of this cat this is going to be a responsibility for you uh and she's like i don't want to listen to you uh you know i'm not i'm not that strong to take care of the cat i'm not doing it i don't have that internal strength in me uh, to handle it with peace and courage. No, she couldn't. She's a coward, so she had to take it down. And then she likes to appear as though she's the one who's in order, who, who restoring order for herself, uh, that she could be the initiator. Uh, so she is the initiator of this situation. But she, she didn't like her dad telling her it was her duty, her job. So, you know, a lot of kids get a job when they're young. That was her job, was to take care of the cat. Then we have the fool in reverse. Oh my God, dad, we have a crisis that came along. Uh, the fool's card in reverse. So basically it was complete recklessness with the fool in reverse. Uh, she should have reconsidered what she was doing. She acted like she wanted to reconsider. Oh I, my God, I didn't know. And it's also cover your ass up mistake position. Yes, I'm going to cover my ass. I just learned that from my new book. Yeah, it's cover your ass. Uh, the fool in reverse. Very irresponsible, apathetic, and ostracized by others. And there was no loyalty there. It is the traitor. So she was a traitor to, the, uh, to her own cat. And look at the cat. She's taunting the cat. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. I got some grapes for you, kitty, kitty. Why don't you come get another kitty, kitty? Each time you eat a grape, little kitty, kitty, you're going to drown and you're going to die. I'm going to kill you, kitty, kitty. So that is the traitor. I got something for you. And really, she drowned herself in the situation. Wow. Okay. Feelings in the situation. Feelings in the situation. Feelings in the situation. Ooh, we have here. She didn't want that cat in the family anymore because this is a, you know, this is going by family values. We take care of our animals. Not Megan. She was not going to take care of it. The hierarchy card. She wanted to be top king. 
She wanted to be top hierarchy. She wanted, she wanted that, but she got, she didn't get what she wanted. She didn't feel the cat fit in and she doesn't care what the family wants. She wasn't going to conform to the family values, whatever the social approval is. She doesn't care. This is the antisocial personality disorder in the deck hierophant in reverse so she creates the conflict and then pretends that there's peace the conflict that she created created peace for her so basically she was breaking social norms she didn't care about the cat she didn't care about the traditional values of taking care of an animal she was going to disregard the family tell the family no and break all the rules because she wasn't committed and she was a complete re rebel and she wanted to break free from the position of taking care of the cat by creating a disruption and having the cat die so that's how she felt about that outside influences now i get to be free Wow, look at you. You killed the cat. Now you get to be free. Whoa, all right. So she did that. Now she gets to be free. Oh my. Now she's free. Another one. Hopes and fears. Now I get to do what I want. I get to carry on and be kind of a wild child, a wild knight. Uh, the knight of wands is someone who is on their own journey. They're a player. She gets to go play, do what she wants. To her, it was, it, she was playing with it and she enjoyed taunting it. So that's very antisocial too. To, like, I, I, I was just playing with it. I was just playing with it and I thought it, you know, but I was uncommitted to the cat because uh, the, the Knight of Wands is a player who's uncommitted and just wants to do what they want to do. So basically for her, the freedom and being able to play and do what she wants without any responsibility. They don't like accountability. Holding them to accountability feels like an attack. She doesn't like that. She probably was trying to be held accountable and she couldn't handle it. So you're going to make me do this. Well, I'll show you. Page of Wands upright. So wild child free. And she just wanted her fun. Now I get to go do what interests me. Uh, I'm, and then maybe she, at one point she was honest. Yes, I fed it the grapes. They say it like it is. Uh, you know, it was my friend, daddy. It was my friend. I was just trying to have fun. I was just trying to have fun, daddy. And, and it was good news to her. It was a good message to her. And now she has her enthusiasm, her excitement back, young, arrested development. She was young when it happened with the page that is between zero and 12 years old. So she did it by the time she was 12 years old. This occurred uh, because she wanted her freedom. Yeah, she is very much a wild child. That's why she doesn't like to hold down jobs. That's why she doesn't do jobs. That's why she likes to do things that are against social norms, like being a, a yacht girl. And, uh, you know, uh, I did do a post on that. People are enjoying that with Harry and her. And uh, what was it? Uh, I forgot now, but it was kind of hilarious about girls and yachts and party, 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 and not flattering at all. Um, so there you go. Um intentional so this is why thomas markle jr said keep her away from pets and children to her her play is is taunting play uh she's a bully she's an absolute bully we know she's a bully she, she's a bully in college glue girls eyes shut to her it's fun and play but it's so destructive it's the it's the fun and play of the antisocial, very psychopathic person likes to play with things until they kill it and torture it slowly and that's how I see it. And she did cop up and admit it. So that's why it came out to keep her away from animals. Uh, possibly Thomas Markle's aware of it, Junior, and uh, it knew that it was kind of a sick attempt on her end uh, and certainly wouldn't trust her uh, because it was just all fun and play. And she probably was warned but didn't care and ignored the warning. <clears throat> so let's get some cards on Harry because Harry's trying to crawl back. How's he feeling today? How's Harry feeling today? Not that we really care that much, but how's Harry has feeling today? How's has feeling today? Has is feeling a seven of wands in reverse. So with the seven of wands in reverse, basically his walls are crashing down. 
He feels like giving up. People's criticizing all my choices. I'm so defeated. I'm struggling with myself and other people. Everything's falling apart. I have no boundaries. I should probably, I wish people would lift boundaries so I can come in, but no one will. No one will, no one will lower their boundaries for me, please. Maybe I should take down my walls. I'm so defeated. I'm so self-defensive. I'm so self-interest only, but no one will give me what I want. I, ha I thought I could have long-term goals and I took the risk, but I failed. I thought I was courageous to stand up for myself, but I failed. Nobody wants me. I'm so self-defensive. Now I'm broken. Oh my God, I screwed myself. He screwed himself. <laughs> Next position. I have nowhere to go. Ten of Wands in reverse. There's not likely to ever rebuild with me. It'll never happen. I gotta let it go, but how can I? I'll just unload this burden onto someone else. There's just no reconciliation. Oh my God, there's so much pressure and burdens. Oh my God, how do I get rid of these burdens? I'm a baby boy. I can't do this anymore. I don't feel guilty though because I'm a victim. I'm still a victim. Help me, I'm still a victim. I need to drop it, but I can't let it go. Oh my God, how am I going to help myself? No, one will, no one's coming for me. That's right, no one's coming for you, Harry. <laughs> Let's get to the center of the deck. Here we go. I'm mentally sick. I'm mentally sick with the moon card upright. Yes, I'm mentally sick. They should be helping me. They should be helping me with the eight of pentacles upright. And what the eight of pentacles upright is, they should help me and get me a mentor. They need to help fulfill my promises. Uh, you know, they need to they need to teach me and help me again. You know, I may not be the boss. Okay, I'm sick. But come help me. Maybe I need to, maybe I need a higher education. Somehow I need to find motivation. I really like to be a mentor, but I'm sick. And I failed at that too because I'm sick. I took a risk. Now I want to keep all my secrets. I need to keep my secrets. And I'm super motivated to keep my secrets. And I need a mentor to keep my secrets. I need someone to help me keep my secrets. So he's all about keeping secrets. He's not about privacy. He's about secrets. I wanted the shared fantasy and I worked on the shared fantasy with her. Uh, there was a mentor of Megan's that helped keep him in that fantasy as well. To keep him motivated in that fantasy. They worked hard on keeping the fantasy going for him. But he also partook in it. He also basically through trauma bond and um, through that situation of uh, basically being a prisoner to her uh, did it as well. So he joined in his captor's agenda. Yes. And kind of like uh, Patty Hearst, right? Kind of like the Patty Hearst situation where you get sucked in on a fantasy and they get you to keep working for them. So he was working towards the fantasy of also becoming a mentor. He thought he could be a mentor like his brother and he failed. This is why he crawled back to the funeral of, um, of his uncle that he hated, the gray suit that he couldn't stand. Uh, so mental illness, he, he knows he needs a job. He knows he has to improve himself, but how's he going to do it? Because everything just feel, everything he thought, he said, oh, I've improved myself. I've improved myself was a lie. He has not improved himself, such as his mental health. How can he help other people with better up when he can't even get his own ass straightened up? He's still using powder. How is he going to live? This is my other question. How is he going to make it past 45 by doing Colombian product on a table with a mirror and a straw or a dollar bill? Or in his case, who knows? Uh, how is he going to a long fingernail? Probably at this point. Maybe he has a long fingernail. Uh, nonetheless, his drug addiction and his powder, his use uh, is not serving him. Uh, he will never pull out of it as long as he continues with his lies of, of self-improvement. Everybody knows he hasn't. If he was so improved and he was doing so well, why is he trying to crawl back? Why did he go back to see William? Why did he show up to a funeral to a man that he had no love for? Only one reason, self-serving, to crawl back. And basically, this news cover has nailed it. They have nailed it. He is a man with nothing. And he just lied about everything. Everything's more lies, lies, deception, psychosis, illusions. He was living in fantasy land, obscuring all truths. He's literally going insane. And he's reenacting the past trauma of his life. 
I'm a fraud. I'm a fraud reenacting the past. I'm going to bury all my demons and I'm going to work on burying my demons. Sorry, it failed. It all failed, completely failed. I hope you enjoyed that. Until next time, like and subscribe and have a great Saturday, you guys. Go have fun. Thanks again for watching.